one i'm going to show you how to make a very cute face map this is the embroidery hoop that i have this is seven inch and i drain the circle i'm going to cut this out okay so now after you cut out the circle you're going to fold the circle into four that half and another one that's the other half you're going to open it get the ruler i'm going to bring from the center here yeah, this is the center bring it up two inches two inch two inch here and then you from here you're going to also bring it out two inch so that's two inch from here to here you're going to make sure it's Two, two, okay. So just like that. You're going to move the ruler until you see that number two right there, and that is right there. And from here, where the center out here, I like you to bring it out one inch right there, just like that. And now I'm going to get the hoop back and I'm going to connect this. To that. And then to here. And then from here, you're going to round it around to the pointy. From here, you're going to round to down here. Let's see if you can do this hoop. Go down to this pointy right here. From this pointy here, you're going to bring it up to that pointy over there. So I need the ruler. You're going to bring it up to here. You see, from here to there. Now you're going to round this up a little bit here. Just round this area. I would just pin this right here, the end to the end right here, and I just pin right in the middle, and then from here I bring it out to a quarter of an inch, and then I just round it. Just like that. Very simple. Now I'm going to cut this. Okay, so now you're going to get the fabric and you're going to trace, you need four of these. So you're going to trace on the fabric for, this is the fabric I have that I purchased online and I, uh, you can check on my description. Uh, I will list it there for you. So what we need, we need four of these cut separately. I'm going to use two for the front and the back, I'm going to use the black one. So I'm trying to get this picture right in the center. This is what the face map um, that I have in the past. So what I want this picture, it will be on one side and the other one will be in the other side. This is going to be facing out. In the back here, I'm going to use a different color. So I'm going to make sure that I place it right here. So I can get him in the center. So everyone, after I cut these two, 
I see. You see the two picture that I try to have it in two sides. So when it facing out, I'm going to do this. So the right side to the right side. You go on to sew this line right here where the top here, where the pointy, all the way down to this pointy down here. And this one too. Then I cut the two black one because I don't use, I don't want to use these four piece for one face mat because it facing in anyway. So these are the two in the black. It go on to facing in to your face. So you go on to sew this line in. So let's sew this in everyone. You can do best it all the way if you like. Are you um, using the sew machine? Just sew on the straight line. Let's just sew from here all the way, all the way from here to here and stop right here. After you sew on this and this, you go on to iron this line. This is 50% uh, cotton and 50% polyester. So after that, I'm going to move to this side and I'm going to iron the middle line right here. You're doing the same thing to the main fabric, the main face map piece right here too, exact the same. Make sure you iron this line. So now when you're done, you go on to place the right side up like this. And this one, the inside out. Place it on. This kind of face mat, you don't need the no bridge for it. So make sure everything is nice and light up nicely. I want to leave about two inches from here. Right there for the filter pocket. You go on to sew all the way from here to here all the way to this center right here. This is the pointy side. You go on to Right here, that the middle line right there, the pointy that's sticking out right there. You go on to mark the line, then you go on to sew all the way there, and then you go on to add the elastic to it. This is the new one. If you want to get this one, it's from the Dollar Tree. You can go to the Dollar Tree and then you can get the many um, different size in there. But, um, this is the uh, regular side. So either way you can do, you can cut that or you, this is uh, only a dollar from a Dollar Tree. So what you do, it, from here you can cut the toes side right here off. You can throw that away. But then from here you go and cut an inch and half or so, just like this. And you need two of them, just like this. You need two. If you don't um, know how to cut this, this is I just want to show you how to cut it from the pantyhose. Because with the long piece I showed you, people are like, what is that? So, either way you can do, if you cut it like this, just tie this end right here. You're going to tie the end like this. You're going to place this inside of the face mat and one side right here where the pointy get the clip you're going to clip it right there now you're going to sew it in you're going to do exactly to the other side too so let's just sew it in this I show you already from one of the video how to make this mask. I just want to show whoever um, didn't watch that video. So 
with the last um the pentacle right here you go on to make sure you go in up and down a few times just want to show the um the pentacles right into the face mat don't worry about the length of the pantyhose that not gonna fit you you go on to make adjustable bead there to make it more nicer So now you sewed enough in there you go on to continue sewing all the way okay from from the ear side down to here i'm going to from here i'm going to leave about let's see two and a half inches from the ear side down to here that two inch and then you leave one in uh, two and a half inches right here for the filter pocket. So I'm going to close this area and I'm going to get out and I'm going to sew the other one. From here, from here to here, two and a half inch, we're going to sew from here. And that's it you're going to do with the ear loop for the other side same thing for this one you already leave for the filter pocket the other side you're going to close the whole thing you're going to make another one like this for the other side right here and leave it in so the same way like this. this is where i get to the other side i fold it like this so it can be even with the other side the one that we already saw the ear loop so I'm going to stuck this in just the same way. When I slide a needle, I slide I slide a needle through the e um, pantyhose. I go in and out many times. Everyone, do your the more sewing right here. Hold it in everything and then you leave about two inch and a half here for the filter pocket right here. Everything else is sewing. I'm gonna inside out this face map. Oh so pretty to get the iron ready be careful when you iron the face mat with the um, pantyhose here you have to make sure you don't go through it because it going to melt get your pencil go into the area and poke the area out gently poke not poke poke all the holes Sometimes when you sew, the line that you sew, it tends to stay in end. So take it out, everyone. With the filter pocket right here, you place your finger in, pull, and then iron this down. When you, after you iron this down, I get the heat and bone the other day that you can go in between these two. This is what I got the other day. So you go on to cut good enough for us to go in and then seal that line so you don't have to just do any sewing in there. So go on to cut into two. Make sure it go into the fold. Okay, just iron on it. Now it stay. So you don't need to sew this. Do the same thing to this side. Finish the mask here. You see the skeleton. OMG, that is so cute. So whatever color that they use in here, I'm going to try and to draw something that it relating to. This is the mask I get at Michael's, the craft store. 
You can also go down there and then they have all kinds of different ones. I want the plain one so I can draw something. This is, um, I believe it four ninety nine, and it makes them from a cardboard. So it's really good and easy to draw. I'm going to draw and after that, I'm going to do some decoration and also this mask right here, I'm going to do a double side tape back here because after that I want to use the mask for um, for every day um, without using this. So I can just take it out and I use the mask only. So I'm going to do a little extra thing right here. Um, so I have a black marker and I have some other kinds. I'm going to go by the color there. So I'm drawing. So it free can draw on everyone so it then no right or wrong here do whatever you feel like doing I'm going to use the orange around the eyes here I'm going to draw some circle around it you can do your way this is my way to do you hear my kid What game is the um, day? They can have anything they want. They can watch anything they want. Because every day, we don't let them. So I'm, I do something like that around the eyes. And I'm going to go in in color. I have something that go around the outer line here too. Um, go to your Dollar Tree. I, I know most of you say that your Dollar Tree is not the same as my uh, Dollar Tree around here. Maybe I live in a poor location. We have so many Dollar Tree, everyone. They try to help us out. <laughs> Get your kid to do some drawing with you. They're going to like it. I'm using this color, everyone. But before I'm using this, I'm going to use the feather. I'm going to put it around. I'm going to spade around to here. Get the glue gun. And put some glue here. And I'm going to start gluing a little bit only on the top here. You spade it out and then you come back and fix it later.
So look at this, everyone. I, did, I draw a little bit all around the eyes and uh, the feather is all finished. So I'm going to put the border. I'm going to add a border around here. So let's just do... I'm going to measure from here to there. It is enough. Then I'm going to cut it. I don't want... It's hard to make it the whole row and hold on to it. I'm going to cut the extra here. So I'm going to add this around the border here. So everyone, after I finish this, you see I add the lace in um, the decoration, the border around here. Basically, it's just nothing. It's just freehand draw, whatever. And all of these is just the um, thing that you can buy and then you can add into the mask. So now with this one right here that I have the bead that I'm going to do adjustable. This one mask, I don't do anything on it, um, like crazy on it, because after the holiday, you can just take it out and then you wear it just like a regular one. Um, that's why I don't do any, I don't glue on or anything on this one. So pull this go through here, everyone just pull, pull it. And now you can cut that and then you go on to do another bit on the other side. So for the back of the mask right here, everyone, I have the tape here that I got from a Dollar Tree. I am going to put the tape all around. It has a sticky side right here, so all you need to do is you just go around the end here. Don't, it have two sides of the stickiness. Don't, um, don't peel off the other side of the tape because that's going to tape your face down to the mask. So just go around, try your best to go around the back here. It's going to face to your face anyway, so don't worry about it. Try your best. Okay. Go into this nose area right here. You go into hold this like this, and then you press your thumb down, and then you go around it. Just gently take your time. Take it easy, everyone. Just go around. Okay. This is this is something that is new for everyone, so. It's okay if you're not doing perfectly, that's fine. On this area, you're gonna go to around the corner here and then you turn and then you go on the top here, uh, the, on top of the border here, the outer line here, and it just go around it. So make sure you only open the tape a little bit at the time. Just go around it. Okay, and then when you get into here, you're going to cut that off. This is so nice that it helped the mask stay better to your to your face. This you can just put it on, but the mask it will support you. I I do this just in case that when you don't want to use this, you can use this yourself inside a house. You walk around for fun, then you don't have to wear this. And I put the tape, the double side tape, on here. It just because sometimes that when you're done with this, you can take this out and then you can just wear around. Because we put the tape around here, this mask stay really well to your face. It's not like the air coming down here. It stay really well because this tape help you. And this one is closed under your chin and everything. I will show you how it look. But anyway, I will show you. So you put a little tape around here just right here a little bit and then on here just put a tape on this border right here so when you take it out you can wear that again for both if you wear separately 
You see how nice that is? I will show you exactly how it looks when I wear it. So beautiful. This is like, it costs a few dollars, everyone, to make this. The fabric, I will um, add it in my description. So if you want this kind of fabric, that is in my description where I got it. Look at that. And this is from Michael's, the mask. And the feather, you can get it from there too. A Dollar Tree has feather, but it's not that good at this one. It come out with the two color, but the Dollar Tree have like a one color and it's very, very thin kind of feather. Look everyone, I finished. So this face mask, remember I put in the little foam tape back here. This will stay really well to your face and there's no, um, there's no air that travel from the eyes down to your face mask. And this is the face mask right there. And I asked a little extra ribbon for temporary, so I just tape it on the inside. I'm going to put it on. Look at this the skeleton on the side. So awesome. Now all you need to do is just pull this loop here. Adjustable bit it right there. You can adjust the side. It stays so well down to your face. Look at this. I love it. I love this one too than the other one. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, you have Facebook, Instagram. Please share the video and help me reach our goal everyone. It's getting closer and we only get... 85 now so we need like 15,000 to go so please share the video and ask someone to subscribe to our channel if you're giving our face map to someone please ask someone to subscribe to us too thank you so much and i will show you to wear without the mask here i will take it off and i will separate them okay so you have two face mask right now See everyone, I separate them. I took this out from the mask and I'm going to wear so you can see. It was so cute. This style that I can take the whole skeleton. The other style you cannot. I'm going to adjust the side from the ear here so it can fit me better. Look how nice that is. This face map to take the whole face in. So awesome. So you can do this only if you like. That is so nice also. And for this one, if you want, you can just wear this one. And the holes for the mask is still here. You can just put the holes in the, uh, the string in here and then you can just wear this itself. If you're a teacher out there and you teach online, you can wear this on the Halloween day for your kid to see. They're going to love it if you um, if you do any Halloween. So because I didn't have the, the, the loop to go, the string to go here, so I have to hold on to it. But it, it, this is the other option you can do. You can take it out and then you can make the, you can wear separately or you can wear it together. It looks so cute. Thank you for watching everyone. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.